Look at the pushback it's got. <laughs> You're just knocking him back. Welcome back guys to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved with me, Pommy Gamer. I hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a great day. Me and Mr. T are just out down the beach gathering some meat up for the rest of the dinos because my god do we have a lot now and they go through a ton of meat so this is always our little daily ritual we uh, we do when we come on the server and I just thought I would uh, yeah I thought I'd bring you guys in now um, and uh, for today's episode uh, what I wanted to do was um, just a little bit of experimentation try something out so you may remember in the uh, the Halloween special we uh, we spawned in the Dodo Rex, and it really kicked our ass. Like we uh, we suffered some heavy hits, and ultimately had to pull out and abandon uh, the mission. But it was cool to see him. Now you may also remember in that episode I was talking about some potential uh, strategies with Freddy about how you would do this as a two-man team uh, to take on such a massive dino. And uh, it got me thinking, and the idea I kind of landed on was to convert um, one of our ships that we have here into a kind of offensive ship um, using the plant species X. So I figured, why not? Let's uh, let's put this theory to the test, and uh, let's craft up a battleship and see, <laughs> just see what happens. See see what damage it does to the uh, the dodo rex and see if we can actually take him down with one. Now of course again we're gonna be spawning one in on the Kano Island just to test this out. This isn't a legit um, rex, uh, dodo rex in the wild um, but hey ho all in the name of science. What's going on over here? Is this a little stego party? Can I be invited? Um, so yeah so that's what we're gonna do today. So what I'm gonna do guys I'm just gonna finish up the uh, the meat gathering chores that we have to do craft up some materials and let's fit one of our ships out and then I'll bring you back when it's all done I'll see you in a bit and we're back guys and all the dinos have been fed and uh, I'm just on my way down to the boat <sighs> having a lot of problems with argies lately Woo, Mr. T you got a level excellent yeah have some food as well what are we gonna pump on you buddy He's actually doing pretty good now. Uh, let's get his melee damage up to over 500. You're a baller, mate. So anyway, as I was saying, um, so I'm on my way down to the boat to um, fit up, pimp it out, pimp my boat, whatever you want to call it, uh, as a battleship. Now, I've made up some thatch structures, and no, it's not going to be made out of thatch. This is just a way of me plan planning out the build um, before making a lot of expensive mistakes because what I want to do is actually fit it all out with uh, it, with metal. We have a ton of metal at the moment and I think this is going to be a practical good use for it because yeah that thing hurts and I want to give this thing as much protection as possible. Mr. T you are on passive that's no good let's stick you on neutral you can protect me and let's hop over here. Now I was thinking about keeping this and then building like sort of incorporating it into design but I think I'm just literally going to demolish it and start again and it should be a case of just taking these two things out and then the whole thing comes crashing down oh super scary now hopefully I got all of the resources from that item cache, is there anything in there? no, just garbo, nothing I need that's the wrong button disappear! <laughs> too much stuff right, let's just um, let's throw this stuff on to Mr. T. What's that loud noise? Oh, it's just a mammoth. Um, cool, right, so let's grab our um, thatch stuff. How much stuff are we going to be able to carry? Well, we're going to need the foundations first anyway. Um, I didn't build any extra walls. Not a problem. We've got s <laughs> some wood, not enough. We'll have to come back and do that. Right, so we now have a clean platform to base this from. We still have this wooden foundation uh, ceiling kind of jobby on the front. Uh, so we, yeah, we'll probably just keep that. In fact, we won't need um, the uh, foundations in in that case. But can I build off that? I can build off that side. Excellent. 
How, just out of interest, how far can I build off that side? Let's throw that in slot one. No, can I go one that way and one that way? Excellent, that's what we want. So this is going to be uh, the start of it, and then what I plan to do is um, come back to Mr. T. He doesn't have it. Who has it? Who's got the stuff? Where's the doors? There we go. Cool. So let's start with these foundations. Door there. Door there. Now can I build... Uh, I might as well just throw these all on the slots. Can I build off of this side? I can. That's awesome. Excellent. Alright, and then what we're going to want is another one. Another one of those there. And another one of those there. Because basically what I'm thinking, guys, is like we'll have the plant species X all sat along here. Um, we can then open the doors, access them, turn them on, shut the doors. Um, but I'm not just planning one level. I'm thinking we need to go big. We want this thing to be just a full frontal assault. So let's uh, throw some more of these roofs on like this. And then I believe... Hello Mr. Mammoth. 14. Let's grab the uh, the ladders as well, because we've got to be able to get up uh, to the top. Now, will you be kind and let me place somewhere that's not on a door? No, of course you won't. So what we need to do is we need to come out. That's weird. Does that place in the middle? I've never seen that. Snap. I'm guessing it's snap into the middle of... Oh, I see. Ignore me. Um, so let's just come out this far here and then what we're going to do is we're going to throw one of these ladders up here like so and now we should be able to if it gives me an option can I climb where's my where's my option hold no okay good e okay um, that's around the wrong way why have you placed around the wrong way? That makes no sense. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, you see it's doing its weird thing. Stay that side. That's better. So now we're up here. Let's go back to our... Um, did I use them all? Of course I did. I only made four. Silly me. Um... But yeah, you can kind of see where we're going with this now. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm just going to carry on building out the thatch, planning it all out, and then I'll bring you back once I've uh, converted it to metal and we're ready to place the plant species X down. I'll see you guys in a bit. And we're back, guys. <laughs> As Mr. T slowly makes his way over, we've managed to do it all. Oh my god, has that taken forever to achieve. Metal is super super expensive I think if you try and build a large scale base like we are out of metal you are absolutely insane it's just gonna take so many hours of grinding to give you some context um, I ended up using 1740 metal ingots and 544 cementing paste to craft all of this stuff and for what we're building, it's not a lot. I have no idea how people do these mega builds uh, out of metal. Um, but, say la vie, we've got everything. I just really can't afford to cock up. Um, <laughs> because that's going to be an expensive mistake. So, Mr. T can sit there and keep us all uh, calm. So let's grab these. And we probably only want to take about half of those because I want to still be able to walk if need be given that this is a dangerous area so I realized these were foundations so I accounted for those and I'm hoping I can just replace them like that is that gonna happen looking good okay here we go 
they look really cool. I've actually never built anything out of metal before, so they do look awesome. Um, I'm guessing that's that one there. Nice. That one there. Nice. Let's come around here. And what's this? This is a wooden ceiling. Oh, Mr. T. God, you scared the life out of me. I thought you were another Rex. Uh, I forgot I had you on follow. There's some... Uh, oh, what's that, man? Are you stuck? You can't move anymore? That's fine. You sit there. I'm going to carry on. I thought that was more metal foundations, but I could be wrong. So we might be a couple of metal floors short, but that's not to worry. So let's get rid of those. Um, we've got our metal ceilings. Let's grab the hatch frames as well. And then let's come round here. There's one. I kind of like the way it lips as well around that. That's pretty cool. There's another one. I can't see. I think that's it. Yep, awesome. That one. And that one. This is starting to look pretty baller actually. I'm really liking it. So what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to finish uh, converting this all to metal and then I'll bring you back uh, when it's all complete. I'll see you guys in a bit. And we're back guys. And look at what we've made. I'm so impressed with how this has turned out. So as you'll notice um, we actually ended up uh, only constructing this uh, three floors tall. And the reason because of that was because I actually hit the uh, the build limit for the number of items that you can place on top of a platform. Um, so I had to reduce it a bit, but I think it's worked out pretty cool. As you can see there, we've got 12 uh, large uh, plant pots for plant species X. Now, I just need to finish off seeding off the last row, so let's just come down here. No megalodons around, that's good. Let me hop up onto here. And kind of get an idea of how this all looks and I think the metal turned out awesome I really like how it all looks it kind of definitely feels more like a ship definitely sounds more like a ship so let's just go through and seed up the last of these so we want one of those in there one of those in that one one of those in that one and one of those in that one now you'll notice as well that we have two pumps. We haven't fertilized these yet, which is fine. We have plenty of fertilizer at the base. And I dare say we'll stick a couple of compost bins and some storage at, on the back here because I think we've still got um, a few item slots left. But you'll notice that um, none of these have been watered. Now the top row has been watered because um, it rained recently. So two problems there. One, these ones nearest the front can't receive any water because of the uh, ceilings above. So I was like, okay, so why don't we just put some piping down? Now, unfortunately, as you can see here, the arc devs already thought of that and they're not allowing you to build any pipes on any part of the, the raft or the platform. Um, I'm guessing it's because, uh, probably for this very reason, um, yeah, I don't know, um, but that's basically the, that's not a thing we can do sadly, and I tried uh, taking an intake off the back as well, because that's what I wanted to do, intake off the back, permanent water supply, job done. Um, so we're going to have to try and do something a little bit different. So what I thought we could do, and I started building it here, you can see I've put an intake down below there, was to build kind of like a, a water um, station, uh, where we can get some water out to these uh, these plants. So if I could take a straight pipe and I want to come, I can't go that way really. Why is that? Let's see if we can go up first and then maybe we can come backwards. Yeah, like that. That's exactly what I wanted. And now what I should be able to do is put a tap here and I'm hoping we can get some water going on these guys. Yeah, there we go. See now we've got water have we got it on all four? Oh, 
this has worked out a treat. So this is like our little uh, water docking station for this thing. Um, and now what we can do is if we carry on uh, going up and then one across that way. Let's head up onto the upper deck. That one's a bit higher than, uh, but you know that's that's kind of that's what we got to do because these are obviously one higher than the other. I think that's the one I put the water on, wasn't it? Not. Yeah. Oh, down I go. Uh, let's just hop back around here. Up. Yeah, excellent. Yes, yeah, because we're building on a hill basically. Um, but that's fine. Uh, so what you can see there is we've got another one of these here, and we want a tap to go. Uh, it's probably easier if we just go up onto the top deck, get it from the top, like so. Tap. These are all irrigated, as you can see. Now let's go down and check and see if our middle tier is irrigated as well by the same water yes it is that's awesome so now we've got all of these things uh, watered up seeded and all we need to do is uh, plant some fertilizer so what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna go off to the base grab a load of fertilizer probably have to utilize Miss Piggy a little bit and then I'll bring you back once all of the plant species X has been grown I'll see you guys in a bit Him. 
Well that's going to be it for today's episode guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video, if you have remember to hit that like button, and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel for more Ark Survival Evolved videos. Until the next one guys, keep calm and level up. Thank <laughs> you.